All right, so now let's talk about uh, post effects. I'm just gonna stop the render and hop back into my render or into my camera two right here, like so. And let's hit this little gear icon in the corner of the Redshift render view. And that brings out our post effects uh, menu that you are probably familiar with if you are, um, you know, familiar with Redshift. So in here, um, you know, before we'd actually briefly touched on this when we were doing, uh, we added bloom while we were working on our geometry lights. Um, you can see the bloom isn't activated right now, and that's because we're in, we are in camera uh, two. If I switch back to camera one, I'm not sure if it's going to update here, but if I select camera one, you can see that um, that the bloom is enabled here, and these are the settings that we had applied to that bloom uh, before. So if I actually turn this render on. It changes the aspect ratio and turns bloom on, and you can see the bloom uh, in this little glow around our geometry lights. Um, now, if I switch back to camera two, uh, bloom turns off, and if we look at camera two, our camera two settings, under the OCIL post effects section, there is no bloom enabled here. But anything, any adjustments that I make to this section um, are going to uh, you know, start to take hold in uh, the parameters of this camera, which you can find over you know, over on the Redshift tab, open color IO uh, post effects tab right here. So any adjustments we make here are going to get, uh, are going to be reflected over there. Um, so, and my view is again, doing this weird thing. When you switch between cameras that have different aspects or resolutions, it kind of does this, does a, a weird thing like this. So I'm just going to stop the render and start it again. Uh, but yeah, you got all of your, um, all your controls here, photographic exposure, we can, you know, adjust, I, I mean, I'm not more or less dialing in the look at this point. I'm just sort of kind of showing where the controls are, but LUTs are all there, uh, works very similar to, um, you know, if you're applying a LUT in any other application, you can mix in the strength and all that stuff. And, um, all the parameters are stored here on the camera individually. So that's kind of nice. So a really cool thing that I just discovered, and um, you know, when you're working with multiple cameras in a scene, maybe you have a, um, uh, you've got some post effects that you've applied to one camera, and you really like want to apply it to another camera. Well, here on, um, you can see that on uh, this first camera we had set our bloom to this value, and on this camera we changed a whole bunch of stuff. If you want to actually copy the uh, color, the the uh, post effects from one camera to another, you can actually select this first camera and go all the way up here to the OCIL post effects tab, right click and say copy parameter, and then go over to the camera two and go to the OCIL post effects tab, right click and say paste values. And it'll set all these parameters to be exactly the same as the ones over here. You can see now if we compare the bloom on camera one to the bloom on camera two, those are the same. One thing it didn't do was mess with the photographic exposure. So if I go over to camera one, you see photographic exposure here and we go over to camera two and we look at photographic exposure. There's different settings here since we changed them over here, but just the same. If I go back to camera one, right click and say copy parameter and then go to camera two, right click on that tab and say paste values. It will set all of our um, photographic exposure values to the uh, same as they were before. So now if I'm in camera two and I click off a render, you can see nothing in this view has been updated yet. It doesn't look like, but if I click a render, it all turns off and our bloom is turned on and set to the same value as our other camera. So that's kind of a nice little nugget there when you want to uh, transfer the uh, color, uh, the post effects from one uh, camera to another. That's how you can do that.